Hi people, welcome to this part 5 of our boredom fighting videos. We are still isolated, so we need to find something to do. Today we're going to photograph slices of fruits on white background. And here's what we're going to need to create those images. First of all, the camera. Today I'm going to use the Nikon D3500. And if you now wonder why I have so many different beginner cameras, I'm preparing a very detailed entry-level camera test, so you might want to subscribe to the channel to not miss that. Beside a camera we're going to need a tablet. I know some people don't have tablets, maybe a bigger smartphone will do, let's try that. Uh, it won't work for bigger fruits, you know why. Then we're going to use two wooden spoons, I think that's the right word, I googled it. Maybe not, let me know in the comments if it's not. Then a knife, a cutting board, two... Can you imagine forgetting the word for these? It's rubber bands, of course. And the last thing we're going to need is a pile of books. Oh, not the last thing. We need two chairs. First of all, I'm going to place our pile of books our tablet on top of it, and then our two chairs, number one and number two. And I'm sure you wondered what we're going to use these two wooden spoons for. We need a top-down perspective, and I long thought how we could do that. And I came to the conclusion that best would be to use two wooden spoons, put two rubber bands around them, number one, and number two, then spread the two and put the lens in the middle, like so. With some cameras this might be the better position, but with others you might have to rotate it. And put the rubber guns further towards the lens, like that. Then it's time to turn on the tablet and pick our white background. If you don't know how to do that, check out our previous video where I explained it in detail. And now it's time to get some tiny slices of fruits. I prefer the kiwi. So Cut a very, very thin slice, like that. And then we put our slice right on top of the tablet. If your camera has live view, use it. And then let's check the settings. The ISO I'm going to set to 100, the aperture to around f8 and the shutter speed to let's say one third to start with. Focus and do a test shot. Now the issue is that I'm touching the camera while I'm taking the image. I want to change that so I will use self timer two seconds and repeat that. If the general image is too dark, you can lower your shutter speed to one half or maybe even one second. If only the Kiwi is too dark, we need more light from the top rather than from the bottom. So what are we going to do? We can move the complete setup towards the window. And if the Kiwi is too bright, we have to move it away from the window. If your fruit slice is too bright, it may be too thin, so choosing a thicker slice, like in this example, could also create a better result. One thing that is very important is how do we make sure that the background is really white? Let me introduce you to the histogram. You can display the histogram on almost any camera, but what does it tell you? Consider the histogram being a graph, like after an election. Instead of parties, they represent brightness levels and the relative amount of that brightness level in the particular image. 
like in this case, 50% are white, 25% are black, and 12.5% are each dark grey and middle grey. This image, on the other hand, has 100% white. And this one, 50% white and 50% black. Now imagine our image consists of more than just these five brightness levels. For example, this gradient. Or the image of this Kiwi. Now, what does the histogram tell us here? First of all, the bars exceed the 100%. So it's not actually a percentage that we see here. You will often see the bars exceeding the top. So let's get rid of the 100% here. And the other thing we see is that the bar doesn't touch the right side of the histogram. But the right side are the whites and we want the background to be white. So what do we have to do? We have to expose brighter, for example by extending a shutter speed, to reach the right side of the histogram and have a white background. Like in this image. So the histogram in our case tells us if our background is white or not. Now that we have the perfect exposure, we need some more fruits. So much for today's video. In the next video we're going to create this image and we will only use a smartphone as a light source. So stay tuned, stay isolated and don't forget to subscribe.